Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for your great support so far. I'm indeed very grateful. In this video, we'll be discussing the richest families in Nigeria. Otedola family. Femi Otedola is the patriarch of this family. He is a Nigerian businessman, philanthropist, and an oil and gas mogul. He is the former chairman of Fort Oil PLC and the current executive chairman of Girigu Power PLC. Femi Otedola is a multi-billionaire and one of Nigeria's richest men. Otedola is also the founder of Zenon Petroleum and Gas Limited and the owner of a number of other businesses across shipping, real estate, and finance. He has recently invested in power generation as part of the liberalization of the power sector in Nigeria. He has other multi-billion naira investments within and outside Nigeria. His father, late Sir Michael Otedola, was governor of Lagos State from 1992 to 1993. Otedola has made several donations to the Michael Otedola University Scholarship Scheme, which was established in 1985 to give underprivileged students in Lagos State access to higher education. He has four children who are all doing exceedingly well. The first daughter, Tolani, is a singer. Florence Otedola, popularly known as DJ Copy, is a DJ and music producer as well as a tourism ambassador for Nigeria. Tenny is an actress, a style blogger, and aspiring designer. Fewa is his fourth child and only son. Femi Otedola has homes in Lagos, Abuja, Dubai, London, and New York City. If you have watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed, please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also turn on the notification button so that when I post another video, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you. Follow your family. The patriarch of this family was Chief Abdul Wahab Nyonda Folawiyo, C-O-N, popularly known as Chief Wahab Folawiyo. He was a Nigerian businessman and philanthropist. In 1957, he founded Yinka Folawiyo & Sons, which has become the parent company for the Yinka Folawiyo group of companies. Wahab Folawiyo schooled in London and returned to Nigeria to start Yinka Folawiyo & Sons, an import and export business which became the biggest supplier of cement in Nigeria at the time. Folawiyo was also the first African descended principal member of the Baltic Exchange in London. Yinka Folawiyo Group is into energy, shipping, agriculture, real estate, and many more. The family is now headed by Tijani Babatunde Folawiyo, popularly known as Tunde Folawiyo, the son of the late Chief Wahab Folawiyo. He is a Nigerian businessman and presently the managing director of the Yinka Folawiyo Group of Companies. Tunde Folawiyo's wife, Reni, and two children, Farida and Fouad, are doing exceedingly well. Hebrew Family this family was established by Olorobu Michael Pistova on Ajereve, Ibru, popularly known as Michael Ibru, who was a Nigerian pioneer industrialist, billionaire, businessman, and the founder of the Ibru organization, one of the largest conglomerates in Africa. As a traditional chieftain of his homeland, Ibru bore the traditional title Olorobu. This title is also borne by many of the members of his large family. The Ibru family is one of the richest and influential families in Nigeria. Michael Ibru established the Ibru organization as far back as 1956. He started by selling frozen fish from the back of a truck. Having worked with the United African Company, he established Hebrew seafoods from the experience he gained from there. By the mid-1960s, trading fish had become the traditional moneymaker for the Hebrew organization. Though he had other profitable interests, such as transportation and construction, fish trading helped him secure financing and other forms of capital to engage in large-scale trading. The Hebrew organization is presently into shipping, publishing, agriculture, automobile, aviation, real estate, soil and gas, and advertising. Other members of the family include Cecilia Ibru, his wife, who was the former chief executive officer of Oceanic Bank, his brother, Goody Ibru, and many children, including Oscar Ibru, Obodin Ibru, Elvina Ibru, who is an Hollywood actress, and grandchildren. Arthur Eze family Chief Arthur Eze, the patriarch of the family, is a Nigerian businessman and entrepreneur, oil and gas mogul, politician, philanthropist, and CEO of Atlas Aransu Petroleum which is the largest privately owned petroleum exploration and production company in Nigeria. He also has an aviation company. Atso is one of the richest men in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. His elder brother Igwe Robert Eze is the traditional ruler of Popo, Dunokofia in Anambra State, Nigeria. His two brothers work in Atlas Aransu Petroleum. One of his children, Onyeka Nadozi Eze, is the founder and president of Prince Osisioma Foundation. Onyeka has received many awards and accolades from several international organizations and institutions for his achievements. Igbenedion family. Chief Gabriel Osawaru Igbenedion is a patriarch of this family. He is a Nigerian businessman and traditional aristocrat from Okada town in Edo State, Nigeria. He holds the chieftaincy title of the Esama of the Bene Kingdom, a title which traditionally means the son of the people. He is the richest man in Edo State, Nigeria, a position he has held for over 10 years. He was into importation of motorcycles in the 70s and people came from all over the country to purchase motorcycles from Okada in the then Bendel State, Nigeria. 
The Igbina Leon Business Empire includes a private TV and radio station called Independent Radio, 92.3 FM and Television, Bank, Oil Refinery, Diamond, Gold and Marble Mines, all over Africa. A private university, Igbina Leon University, which is the first private university in Nigeria, located in Okada Town, and a large number of hotels. The now defunct private airline, Okada Air, used to have over 40 aircrafts. His son, Loki Menedion, was a two-term local government chairman and a two-term governor of Edo State, Nigeria. Other members of the family include his wife, Lady Cherry Menedion, his other children, Charles, who was a local government chairman and one-time Edo State Commissioner of Education, Peter, who was the managing director of the Nigerian Aviation Authority, Honorable Omosede Menedion, a former member of the House of Representatives representing the OVIA, Federal Constituency of Edo State, Nigeria, and a number of other children. Abiola family. Chief Moshud Kashimawu Olawale Abiola, also known as MKO Abiola, was the patriarch of this family. He was the Are Ono Kakonfu of Yoruba land, which is presently the highest chieftaincy title in Yoruba land. In fact, at the time the title was bestowed on him, the title had only been conferred by the Yorubas 13 times in its long history. He was a businessman, editor, publisher, and politician. The family is into banking, transportation, education, aviation, finance, and oil and gas. MKO Abiola's victory at the June 12, 93 presidential election was annulled by then military president Ibrahim Badamosi Wangida. On the 6th of June 2018, in honor of late Chief MKO Abiola, he was awarded posthumously by President Muhammad Dubwari the National Award of Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic GCFR, an honor awarded to only Nigerian heads of state. And Nigeria's Democracy Day was changed from May 29 to June 12. His son, Kola Abiola, is a successful businessman and politician. He was the presidential candidate of the People's Redemption Party, PRP, in the 2023 presidential elections. Briggs family. The family patriarch was Chief Olu Benson Lulu Briggs. He was a Nigerian statesman and businessman. Lulu Briggs was the Inikerari V of Calabari Kingdom and the paramount head of Uruwari, Briggs House of Abonima, in River State, Nigeria. According to the 2012 Forbes magazine of Africa's 40 richest men, Lulu Briggs, the founder and chairman, of Money Polo Oil Exploration and Production Limited was the 31st richest man in Africa. Money Polo Oil Exploration and Production Limited is a multi billion naira company. The family is now headed by Dumo Lulu Briggs, who manages his late father's businesses. Mrs. Sen Lulu Briggs is the widow of the late Spetrak, who is an astute, multi faceted entrepreneur and businesswoman. She is the chief executive officer and managing director of the reputable Rachel Hotels Limited and Suleyama Limited. Adeleke family. Adeleke family is a very influential family in Nigeria. They have produced very prominent people over the years. The family patriarch is Dr. Adedeji Adeleke. He is a businessman and billionaire who is the founder and chief executive officer of Pacific Holdings and the president of Adeleke University. Other members of the family include Senator Ademola Jackson Nuruddin Adeleke, who is a politician. He was a senator that represented the Oshun West Senatorial District of Oshun State, Nigeria, and presently the governor of Oshun State. David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, is a very successful musician. In fact, he is one of the richest singers in Nigeria and Africa at large. He is a multi-millionaire. Adewale Adeleke, co-founder of HKN Music. Bamidele Adeleke, a politician. Sharon Adeleke, the chief executive officer of Rona Wicks Studio. Shino Adeleke, popularly known as Shino Rambo, is a Nigerian singer and rapper. Adenuga family. Chief Michael Adeniyi Agbolade Ishola Adenuga. Junior GCUN is the patriarch of the family. Popularly known as Mike Adenuga, is a Nigerian billionaire businessman, the second richest man in Nigeria, and the sixth richest man in Africa. According to Forbes updates of June 2023, his company, Globalcom Nigeria, is Nigeria's third largest telecommunication operator with 55 million subscribers. Globalcom is presently in other African countries, including the Republic of Benin and Ghana. His oil exploration company, Corn Oil, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. He owned stakes in Equatorial Trust Bank, which was later taken over by Sterling Bank on the 11th of August 2011. His business empire has footprints in the oil and gas, telecommunications, real estate, and the banking sectors. Chief Mike Adenuga as one of the Nigeria's and Africa's wealthiest men. His children are also doing very well, making them Nigeria's and Africa's youngest billionaires. Dangote family. This family is the wealthiest family in Africa. Aliko Dangote GCON is a Nigerian businessman and industrialist. He is best known as the founder, chairman and CEO of the Dangote Group, the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa. The Bloomberg Billionaires Index estimated his net worth 
at 15.3 billion US dollars in May 2024, making him the richest person in Africa, the world's richest black person, and the world's 132nd richest person overall. While as at April 2024, Forbes rated Ali Kudanguti as the richest man in Africa with an estimated net worth of 13.4 billion US dollars. In 1977, Danguti received a 500,000 naira loan from his uncle to start a business. Today, the Danguti Group is the largest conglomerate in West Africa and one of the largest in Africa with international operations in Benin, Ghana, Zambia and Togo and so on. Danguti Group is into all kinds of businesses too numerous to mention. On May 22, 2023, Dangote Refinery in Lagos was commissioned by President Muhammadu Buhari. He has three daughters, Halima, Maria, and Fatima, and his son, Abdurrahman. Halima followed him into the business world and is currently his company's executive director of commercial operations. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'm indeed very grateful. Please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also turn on the notification button so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to see it. You can also watch any of my other videos by clicking on any of the links on the screen. You can also share this video if you can. Until my next video, stay blessed.